The importance of being prepared. Welcome to module four. In this module, we will discuss how to implement your classroom management plan the first week of school and how to get assistance from your coworkers and administrative staff. You may want to have pen and paper handy in order to take notes during the lessons in this module. The first lesson is on the importance of being well prepared. Objective. Students will be able to explain how planning and preparation have an impact on classroom management. Preparation and planning play a critical role in developing a well-managed classroom and learning environment. In order to teach effectively, it requires a blend of content knowledge, instructional strategies, and classroom management strategies. Preparation and planning matter a great deal. They are a long-term investment into your classroom climate. They are one of the keys to student learning. Teachers are in a constant state of planning and preparation. Because teachers have to teach 180 days of the school year, they plan on a daily basis. Planning is never ending. It's best to over plan in order to prevent the day from dragging and losing control of your class. Ways planning and preparation pay off. One, it makes you a better teacher. Studying pedagogy, educational theory, best practices, and the content you teach will help you grow and improve. It will also shape your teaching style and philosophy. Two, it boosts student performance and achievement. Planning and preparation allows you to design quality lessons that are engaging and inspire students to learn the content. Three, it makes the day go faster. Every second, minute, and hour of the day should matter. Teachers should plan enough, if not more, to last the entire class period or day. Maximize student learning and students will remain engaged. Number four, planning and preparation minimizes classroom discipline issues. Boredom is the number one cause of acting out. Well-prepared lessons decrease discipline issues. It keeps students engaged. Five, planning and preparation makes you confident in what you do. Confidence is important. If the teacher is confident, students are more willing to listen and participate in the lesson. Planning and preparation boosts a teacher's confidence because they know they have put careful thought and consideration into the lesson, and it shows when they present it to their class. Six, planning and preparation helps earn the respect of your peers and administrators. Putting in the time will be noticed by your colleagues. They will respect how hard you work at your craft. Strategies for more efficient planning. Strategy one, keep all lessons and worksheets in a binder or file cabinet. Note what works and what doesn't work. If you keep it organized and filed away, it makes it easier to find and refer to next year if you teach the same grade level or subject. 
Two, don't reinvent the wheel. Use ideas from other teachers in the field. The internet is a good resource. Teachers Pay Teachers is a great tool. Strategy three, use your planning time wisely. Work in a distraction-free environment. You will get more done. Four, read ahead. Chapters, books, worksheets, etc. Reading and doing things up front will protect your credibility. Strategy five, have materials ready and laid out before time. Make sure you have enough materials and things work properly, especially in a science class or working with any manipulatives. It saves a lot of time. This includes worksheets and hands-on materials. Finally, strategy six, plan days to weeks in advance if possible. Waiting till the last minute limits the effectiveness of your lessons.